Imprisoned former Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein filed an appeal today asking that his rape and sexual assault convictions be overturned, arguing that he did not receive a fair trial. Now, last spring, Weinstein was sentenced to 23 years in prison. Among the reasons stated in this appeal, Weinstein's lawyers say a, quote, cavalier judge and extensive media coverage prevented him from getting that fair trial. They also claim the jury was tainted by a juror who had published a book about older men who prey on younger women. And they argue that several women who testified at the trial should not even have been allowed to do so. News Nation's Rich McHugh is live outside the courthouse in Manhattan tonight. And Rich, you've spoken with some of the key people involved here, including the women who testified, the attorneys who represent them, and Weinstein's attorney. So let's start with the nearly 200-page brief filed today. What have you found most interesting or maybe surprising to come out of this? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head, Nicole. Um, they're zeroing in on, I, I believe it was juror number 11, who at the time was writing a book about uh, predations, focused on predations of older men. At the time it came up in court and it, it was addressed and the judge and everybody decided it wasn't an issue and moved on. They seemed to focus on it back then and clearly they're coming back to it. Um, they're also focusing on what are called Molino witnesses, which are the prior bad acts witnesses and with, which were used to, to show a pattern over years of, of his predation. And uh, I think th they would say that, that, of course, should be introduced and was fairly introduced in, in the trial. Um, some of the, the women I've spoken to, uh, Jessica Mann and uh, Mimi Hille, uh, I spoke with Jessica earlier today, and, you know, she was processing it all. She, she, it was her testimony and, and Mimi's who ultimately got him convicted. And, um, you know, I think she was, I, I'll, I'll read her words, actually. Um, she gave me a long statement, but in short, she basically said, there will also, there will always be sexual predators like Harvey Weinstein who are wealthy enough to fund bogus arguments and appeals. Um, I also reached out to Rose McGowan, who, you know, was the first to be publicly on the record uh, against Harvey Weinstein coming out with her, her allegations of assault. And she says, quote, rich man's justice is something we've all had enough of. He should not be able to buy his way out of his conviction. I know Harvey Weinstein is a rapist because he did it to me. The best thing he can do for the world is to fall off the planet. We don't need his evil polluting it. Rose, obviously not one to mince words, um, just giving it to us straight. Yeah, and, and Rich, I know you, know you just said one of the victims, they're call, calling it a bogus argument. We do know that the case certainly did receive uh, an extensive amount of attention. So, so does Weinstein have a valid argument here? It's tough to say. I mean, I, I, I haven't spoke with any legal experts since this happened today. Um, they seem to, from what I've read, they seem to zero in on this juror number 11 as the maybe the strongest argument in the appeal. But, um, you know, th this trial, having sat through a portion of it, from my perspective, went on very methodically and by the book from what I could tell. I'm no legal expert, obviously, but uh, I don't think, I think everybody is rolling their eyes a bit at this. It was expected, and they're not expecting that this will be overturned. If it will be, if it is, I think it'll be a huge shock. But keep in mind, he's also being tried for similar crimes in LA in an upcoming trial which if, if, if he's found guilty in those, he'll be sentenced to, to jail time for you know, additional years and probably the rest of his life. All right, so for a separate incident. All right, Rich McHugh, News Nation's Rich McHugh, yeah. outside of the courthouse in Manhattan tonight. We appreciate your time.